Hi everyone, welcome to Smart Math Online Tutor. Through this video, we are going to see the unit probability. To start the lesson, let us recall the types of events we discuss under the lesson probability. The first type of event is the events that will definitely does not occur. That is something like the event of elephants flying. That will never happen. The second type of events are the events that definitely will occur. Just like the sun rising from east. The next type of events are called the random events where the outcomes are random and cannot be predicted. Just like causing a toy or rolling a die. Now let us do an activity to study these types of events further. Think about the likelihood of the following events. The first event is it will rain today. We don't know whether it will rain or not. It may rain and it may not rain too. So the likelihood is maybe. A fruit dropping from a tree landing on ground. We know a fruit dropping from a tree must def definitely land on a ground. So it is a definite event. Someone passing an exam. This is too can happen and cannot happen too. Therefore it is a probable event. Then the last one over here is Monday coming after Saturday. We know always Monday comes after Sunday. So this is an impossible event. Now let us study the likelihood of an event. Event that definitely does not occur has the likelihood 0. Then for an event that will definitely occur, we give 1. For random events, the likelihood lie between 0 and 1. Let us discuss the features of random events now. Rolling a die is a random event. Why do we call it random? It is because it can be repeated any number of times under the same condition. Here the same condition includes the same die. Then the actual outcome cannot be stated with certainty before the experiment is conducted. Now when a die is rolled we don't know what will fall up. So, that is the meaning of this feature. All the possible outcomes of the experiments are known before the experiment is conducted. We know when a die is rolled, a number from 1 to 6 will be the result. But, we can't exactly predict what number will it be. Therefore, rolling a die is called a random event. The next part of this lesson is to study the fraction of success. The formula for fraction of success can be given as this. The fraction of success of an event A is equal to the number of outcomes of A over the total number of experiment is conducted. Let's understand this through an example. Let our experiment be flipping a coin and we repeat this for six times and this is our results. In the first turn we got the head, second turn we got the tail and likewise. 
when all the six times the coin is flipped we have got four heads up and two tails up now what is the fraction of getting a head the fraction of success of getting a head is equal to 4 over 6 here 4 is the number of times we got the head up 6 is the total number of flips and when you come to the fraction of success of getting a tail it is equal to 2 over 6 so I hope the fraction of success is very clear through this example now let us see what is experimental probability when an experiment is conducted the total number of times an outcome of an experiment occurs is always equal or less than the number of times the experiment is done so the fraction of success takes the value between 0 and 1 when you repeat an experiment few times the fraction approaches a constant value this constant value is called the experimental probability the next type of probability we have to discuss is the theoretical probability the probability of an outcome occurring in a random experiment where there is an equally likelihood of each of the possible outcomes occur is called the theoretical probability now let's go into some questions related to probability look at this cylinder there are some colorful balls of same size and shape but different colors let's see what the questions are what is the probability of getting a purple ball now the first step is you have to see how many purple balls are there when you count you have three purple balls and the total number of balls are equal to eight therefore the probability of getting a purple ball is three over eight the next question says what is the probability of getting a yellow ball so there are five yellow balls therefore the probability becomes five over eight let us look into another question here is a wheel which can rotate around the center and the wheel is divided into 12 equal parts with different colors so let's see what the first question is what is the probability of the wheel stopping at purple if you see clearly out of the 12 parts two parts are purple in color so the probability of the wheel stopping at purple is 2 over 12 what is the probability of the wheel stopping at red and once again there are two red parts in this circle therefore the wheel will stop at red with a probability of 2 over 12 the last question is what is the probability of the wheel stopping at yellow or green here there are two colors yellow or green we know there are two yellow sectors and two green sectors therefore the probability of the wheel stopping at yellow or green will be 4 over 12 hope I made myself clear with probability and the events related to probability see you with another smart one